Hi, so I have this, uh, it's called my Ubi, it is uh, for best room, uh, best, uh, if you, after the shower and you want to get heat, so this is uh, basically a wall heater, so uh, I will show you the problem, it's brand new, it's not really a problem, it's a feature that they didn't maybe think how to avoid, and what you hear is the problem. Uh, first of all, uh, it comes with a, a wireless remote, an infrared remote. I think that there is one uh, Chinese uh, manufacturer that manufactured this one in many different names, uh, a little different styles, but more or less they are all the same. They have few buttons and the problem is that Okay, everything is working, but the beeping sound is very annoying, especially if uh, you are at night and uh, you want to get shower and all the beeps, and there is no way, I didn't find any way in the programming to stop this annoying uh, sound. By the way, it, it's okay, it is, uh, I stopped it, but they said in the manual it takes 30 seconds to shut down. We will see it in a few seconds, it will shut down. Uh, it is right, probably this is stop. now it is stopped. Uh, so I want to get to, to this annoying buzzer and uh, remove it because the sound is... Uh, I can't stand this sound. And if they didn't uh, do any programming, so there is no other way than disconnecting the buzzer. So let's see how to do it. Probably more or less all the brands are more or less similar. So uh, there are of course few screws. These screws I'm not sure if I need to take them off. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Let's disassemble and see. Aha, uh -huh. I will put it to the cam, so probably the buzzer of course is somewhere here. Here I have additional one, two, three screws, and then we will get to this buzzer by the way, it's built more or less okay. It's not uh, very quiet, it's a little noisy. I don't know because the motor looks uh, quite motor, so Maybe because it's not uh, very free, uh, the air, where it is maybe something with the air contacting the plastic where, when it goes out. So we will take now these screws. This is of course the controller with the LCD and everything. There is by the way a, a temperature um, this is a thermostat to, to measure the temperature. Oh, there is another screw. Be careful when taking it off. And hopefully you will find the buzzer. So where is the buzzer? Whoa, I don't see the buzzer. Ha! Huh. I wasn't really expecting not to see the buzzer. So maybe the buzzer is in the other board. Wow. I hope that they did not put the buzzer in through the coil of the motor. Because if they're using the... Ah, no, 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 I see the buzzer. Okay, the buzzer is not here. The buzzer is in the other board. Okay. Sometimes if you're familiar with a uh, if you are familiar 
with helicopters. So in helicopters, the buzzer are using the coils of the motor. You are rotating the coil of the motor in order to do the buzzing. Here they didn't do so. Also, the, it didn't look to me like uh, doing it. So the buzzer is in this port. I should have checked it, but let's say my my sense, <laughs> my common sense told me that usually you put uh, in the controller board and not in the power board your buzzer. So here maybe I was a little wrong about it. Not maybe, for sure. Okay, so now it's very shiny. It's, it's a cheap thing. Here is the buzzer. If you will look, so beneath all the wires we have this black box of course is the bu buzzer. So now let's see how to take it off without ruining anything because it's very everything is, is catch the wires and so I will also have to take this off maybe in meanwhile while I can disconnect this connector it will be easier by the way you can ruin the buzzer with a screwdriver without taking anything off but I want to do it let's say more clean in a clean way so I will disconnect this board. So, okay. By the way, I, I like the, the building way because when I see that the wire are catch and they can't be moving around with all the heat here, so everything is probably more or less okay. Okay, so th this is also a little annoying, so I will have to remove the switch if I will be able to do it. Aha! These connectors have a clip, so it's not always easy to take them off, so maybe I will move it this way and I don't need to connect anything. So here is the buzzer, of course, I see uh, the two connections of the buzzer, the, it's here, here, so of course I will just remove the buzzer out of the circuit and, and then we will have a quiet. Okay, so of course very simple just uh, with a soldering iron what I'm doing I'm applying a little pressure uh, and at the same time moving between the two pads till this buzzer will be out of the circuit doing it gently not to ruin anything and the buzzer is already out, it fell, now I will catch it with tweezers, it's in here, so this is the buzzer, okay this is the buzzer, removed, so now it will be quiet, so now la just just assemble everything back and see that everything is working as expected. in the screws just of course let's do a quick check that it is still working properly so applying power opening the switch and it will be on
but without all the beeping sounds okay so you see working perfectly it's hitting everything is good so that's all hope you enjoy if you have simili or other brand they're all more or less the same so if you have the beeping noise the annoying beeping noise so just remove this simple buzzer that's all now let's wait for it to shut down close everything and we are in the silent world and not a noisy one thank you hope this is help helpful for anything and bye bye